Welcome back. So I wanted to go over some of the raw purchases that I've made over the past eh, two weeks. Um, these are all basic things that are going to go into the PC. Some I'll s send out for grading. A lot of these will stay raw. Um, might change the cases, but they'll stay raw. So I'm just going to move right to left and let's see what I got. Push these off to the side. Starting off 1951 Tops Gil Hodges. It's actually in pretty darn good shape. So I'll probably send this off for slabbing. We have 1960 Gil Hodges. Not the best condition, but definitely not the worst. Found a Mike Schmidt back card for cheap, so added this to an order. Not numbered, but Hall of Fame large back card, not too shabby. There's a little reprint lot, which most of these I'm just going to send out into packages. Um, just because at least gives people a placeholder. Um, so you got Mantle, Maze, Mantle, Clemente, and Koufax. And these are just copies of, I believe it was 64, 65 stand-ups. So, the originals have this cut out, so you could pop it, fold it over, and stand them up. And obviously these reprints, they didn't go that far. Some modern Kofax, 19 high-tech. This is the white background. And this was actually with, one of these was with the white one, so ended up getting two. And I forgot to take the tape off of these, so we'll do that quickly right now. Painter's tape. It's a wonderful thing. So, we have two of the green high-tech, number 2, 150, number 10, and number 126. So I picked one of these up individually before I'd bought a lot that had two these two together. So I have a pretty good amount of the rainbow at this point of that particular card. And then this was just an inexpensive add-on even though I already have it. So this is the short print from Gallery 18. And this one I kept in this because it's a cautionary tale of don't ship your cards this way. So sandwiched between two top loaders, no protection, and during transit, it slid around, dinged a corner, but it was an inexpensive card, so I'm not going to bother sending it back. It's just too much of a hassle. That's one of the large medallions from 2013 tops, 26 wins, pennant chase, and 1965. So... Nice little add-on. I didn't have it, so again, picked it up for inexpensive, so I'm willing to forgive a little bit of corner ding just to fill in that gap. Uh, we found this for inexpensive, even though I already have one copy of it. This is the blue parallel, number to 150, of the short print Kofax. And this is the no-name variation of that same card. Incredibly card hard cards to pull. And this is from last year's uh, gold label, the red parallel class two, number to 50. Those are the Kofax cards I managed to pick up. Kofax and um, Gil Hodges. Next up, got some more PC players. Obviously, because I said that at the beginning. Um, Really nice, inexpensive auto here. Buddy Meyer, uh, number two of 10 out of limited cuts. So, 1904 to 1974. So, two-time All-Star, career 303 hitter. Just, is a very solid player, um, primarily for the Senators, if I remember correctly. Um, and so one of the pre-war Jewish players 
finding a really nice auto of his um, for basically under $10, I'll pick it up, especially numbered as low as it is. Now we have a couple originals. 1939 Gaudi, Morris Arnovich, and it may look like the same card, but it's actually two different variations on it. The all caps last uh, name, and then only the first initial of first and last name capitalized. So, decent shape. I'll probably send them in um, to just get them slabbed and protected. Uh, Arnovich is a really tough one to get. Didn't have a whole lot of playing days cards. Um, but he had a couple really solid seasons, and especially his auto is really tough to get because he passed away in the 1950s. Um, next up, we have a couple Al Rosen editions, 1952 Bowman. Decent shape, not great, but decent. And then his rookie out of 1950 Bowman. And actually, we have... Two rookies from 1950 Bowman. As we look on the back, you have with the copyright and without the copyright. I picked these up for very inexpensive, um, along with some other cards I was ordering. So, threw it in there. And now we have Greenberg. And this is the Greenberg that we have. So, first up, beat up, run, pin hold. But it was inexpensive. 1940 play ball. Hank Greenberg. I'll get a slab just for the heck of it. Right, minus the pinhole. It's a decent looking card. So happy to have that. Uh, 35 diamond stars are getting just crazy in prices. So saw this for a buy it now or best offer. It is, you know, there are marks on it. There's not in the greatest shape, but the price was definitely right on it, and the color was really good. So I picked this one up for very inexpensive. And now we have some 2020 Diamond Kings. I picked up multiple copies because, um, well, A, they had multiple copies. Um, and also, in case someone needs one, uh, a couple guys need to do their Greenberg PC. I have extras available. So here's five base. There's two of the purple frame. And then two of the gray frame. So I just have to find those. And then we also have the artist proof. Not numbered version. Just the blue artist proof. That same card. And now we have another vintage piece. I believe this is 42... 41 um, Wheaties stamp. So, kind of obviously on a panel. This usually would have, I think, either this side or the other side. I can't remember which one this is. You know, information on Greenberg, but for um, just very, very, very little money, definitely pick this one up. It was kind of crazy, stupid how much they were willing to sell this for. Um, then we have 19 Diamond Kings Artist Proof as well. Again, not numbered, blue version. And now we get into some Relic cards. Starting off, we got a nice little upper deck piece. And this is from 2001. Not numbered, very nice. Another upper deck, this was number 21 out of 21. From Epic. Was, uh, that set that they put out in 2006. So, nice card there. And then we have yeah, an interesting little setup here because these have been popping up and popping up for cheap. So I've been picking, picking them up when I can. Um, starting off, this is the blue version, the baby blue. Um, for Hank Greenberg, back card out of 2020 Diamond Kings. This is numbered four of ten. And then the base number to 20 version. We actually have four of the 20 here. Your number three, 
number five, number eight, and number 12. So I managed to get four of those so far. Um, also found a National Trickle for inexpensive, so I picked another one of those up. This is 2010. Really happy to find this affordable, affordably priced. Um, so it's Old Tops Tribute, number 3675. Um, and this is from 2010. I really did not have this one. Um, and this was um, a nice and expensive relic to pick up, especially in comparison to the other prices I've seen on that card. And then we got really lucky with a group here. Um, so those of you that may remember, um, Top Sterling in, in 2008 through 2010, if I remember correctly, that was when Tops did that set. Those releases, it was an incredibly high-end set. Beautiful cards um, and great relics and signatures and all that. Um, it was just really, really expensive. Um, and I was lucky because I found a few of the Hank relics um, that were priced reasonably. Um, and when I say reasonably, 20, 25 bucks uh, for the most part on relics. I um, actually found, inadvertently got two of these, but it's numbered to 10, so I'm okay with that. Number six and number nine. Um, and this is out of 2010 Sterling. And then you have this one, numbered 18 of 25. This is out of 2009 Sterling. And then this one is numbered 10 of 25. And this was out of 2008 Sterling. So, we found a bunch of kind of the premium, if you will, Greenberg relics, as well as a bunch of other Greenberg relics, which is always fun, adding to that part of the PC, um, which is kind of the only part of the Greenberg PC I can really add to, add on to right now, because all of the vintage cards have gone way up in price. Um, to the point that I really can't buy a lot of them. So, well, we did find a few raw examples that look pretty darn good. So I was happy to find those and get those quickly. Because you really got to jump on them as soon as they come up. Um, or else you're going to more than likely than not miss out on it. Um, so, that's... The raw mail day I got for you, pretty much dominated by Hank, but that's PC, and sometimes one player will dominate more than others. So that's what I got for you this time around. Hope you like enjoyed the little bit of mix of modern, vintage, even though it's all old time players. So I thank you very much for joining me, and please remember to collect collect what you enjoy. Enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or a YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS, a local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.